Hello, and welcome to episode 6. It's been a while since my last upload. I've been doing some things, and I've also been live streaming. I really enjoyed live streaming the gameplay to those who watched. We had lots of fun conversations. Somewhere in this episode, I'm going to answer the question, what is the Bible, and why is it significant in a Christian's life? But first, in episode 3, I built an iron golem farm, but it doesn't work properly and I want to produce more iron than it's producing. So I'm going to build a new one. This one is stackable, meaning I can build more and more above and around the one I build today. I found this farm on Shalka Craft's channel and thought I'd give it a try. The original builder is Aragus, and I'll link both their videos in the description. During the stream, I scored myself a trident. I managed to kill a drowned, a uh, baby drowned that spawned in our, in our base um, in a block of water and it uh, yeah it dropped us a trident which was which was a surprise I've never gotten a trident in Minecraft before so without further ado enjoy the time lapse about life, oh, figuring out my own future about time, so I should get out my zone, I can pick it up and start again, I can lift my head and start to mend, all the wretched words that I have said, time to fix it up, adjust the trend, there's so much light, I'll let it in. Other side can be so grim In spite of my flame flickering and growing dim I'm looking up, 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 up I'm looking up, 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 up I'm looking up, 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 up From the street lights, windows down, it's alright. Breezes easing my mind. Life was simple back then. Camping in the old tent, sitting with the fire pit. Moonlight lit up in a sense. Gaze upon the night sky through the evergreen. Stars are so bright, wish to capture this light. Crickets chirping, I hear a moonlight dispersing. The fog acting like a curtain. I'm searching for purpose first. I'm looking up, 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 up. What is the Bible? The Bible is a word derived from the Greek word to biblia, which in itself means the books. The reason it's called the books is because the Bible is made up of 66 books, all written under the supernatural guidance of the Holy Spirit. These books each contain letters and historical accounts of the past. Today we split the Bible into two sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. These two testaments refer to the Old Agreement and the New Agreement. The New Testament mainly covers the birth, walk, death, teachings and resurrection of Jesus the Christ. It also covers important lessons and historical events that occurred after Jesus' resurrection. So 
Why is the Bible important? The Bible is God's chosen way to communicate with us the things that he has chosen to reveal, which means it's really important to listen and consider what it is telling us. Throughout the scriptures in the Bible, we can read about God's unchanging character, his love, patience, kindness, mercy, and grace on us. The Bible is considered a living book by Christians because lessons and commandments given through the Bible apply to our lives today and the world around us. As Christians, we use the Bible for correction in our own lives and in the lives of others, as said in 2 Timothy 3.16. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correction, and training in righteousness. End quote. This correction can bring joy and meaning to our lives as we try to better ourselves through our love for Jesus. As Jesus said in John 14, 15, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. End quote. If you struggle to read the Bible, here are some tips to help you improve. Make Bible reading a habit. Put time aside during the same time each day in which to read some of the Bible. Or read the Bible with others. Seek a teacher you can trust and you know to be godly in which to show you how to better study the Bible and to answer any of your questions. Buy a study Bible. These Bibles are useful because they can help explain what is being said in the text through explanation of words proper context and reference to other texts in the Bible. Mark out with a sticky note parts of the Bible you have questions about, and pray about these questions, and seek advice from other godly Christians that you trust and you know to be reliable. Listen to others read the Bible through online videos, podcasts, or audio readings. I hope this was helpful to you, and if you have a question about Christianity, please leave it in the comment section. I have learned my lesson, 
But I will trust you though I have many questions I don't understand, but I know you're real I felt that you left me, but I know you're here You just hung there on the cross that was rugged And even though we put you there, I can't believe you still loved us Man, hard to see how you done that we spit in your face And you just showed us love back we say we love you but don't love each other and push people away from you cause all we do is judge each other lord help us turn back to you soaking in your presence something that we have to do there is freedom in the name when i spoke it so in the name of jesus all your chains are broken I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Before I end the video, I want to explain why I need so much iron. As most of you know, you can trade a single pumpkin for a single emerald when you heal a farmer villager. So because of this, I've been building a fairly large pumpkin farm. This is completely automatic and collects all the pumpkins in chests at the bottom of the farm. This project requires a lot of hoppers. It requires 81 hoppers per module and I plan on building 40 of them and so for 40 modules I need 3240 hoppers that's 16,200 iron or 4.6 double chests of iron we also need hoppers for various other projects most automated farms require a lot of hoppers so you can see why an iron farm that produced a lot of iron was necessary. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and until next time, see ya. Never fight this by myself. I need a living breath and you breathe it out for me and